In celebration of over 75 years of our government employees insurance company, or GEICO, I propose savings for everyone and political parties that are actual parties with K and, and presents. It's too bad nobody can hear me. Hello, everybody, from the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. The 1980 Holiday Bowl started off poorly for BYU's Cougars as SMU used the running of Craig James and Eric Dickerson to race off to a 19-0 first quarter lead. And to his left, there's a fake. Will it result in a touchdown? Touchdown, SMU! By halftime, the Mustangs had a 29-13 advantage. When James scored his third touchdown of the game to give SMU a seemingly insurmountable 45-25 lead with just under four minutes to play, everyone assumed the game was decided. Everyone except BYU. First down, 15-yard line of SMU. Is it a touchdown? It yes! Is. Oh, what a catch! Jim McMahon got the Cougars rolling by hitting wide receiver Matt Braga with a touchdown pass with 2.33 remaining. But when the two-point conversion failed, SMU was still up by 14. BYU recovered the ensuing onside kick, and McMahon completed two passes to the one-yard line, setting up a Scott Phillips touchdown run. It was Phillips again for the two-point conversion, and now it was 45-39 with 1.58 left to play. SMU recovered the onside kick this time and ran off most of the remaining time. But then they had to punt. The freshman from Mesa, Arizona. Big rush. Got it. They blocked it. The ball is at the 41-yard line. With 13 seconds left, BYU miraculously still had a chance. Two McMahon incompletions brought up the game's final play. Down by six now, three seconds left, third and 10 at the SMU 41 yard line. McMahon all the way back in his own 46, throwing for the end zone. Receivers are there, defenders are there. It is in the end zone. Who has the ball? BYU. Touchdown! 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 Clay Brown had outbattled a bevy of SMU defenders to tie the game, capping off the most improbable comeback in bowl history. One play remained. Kurt Gunther's PAT gave BYU its first bowl victory and a place in the history books. 